foreign currency trading has many advantages, which other ways of financial trading may not. But at the same time, there are risks involved too. With me now to discuss is a self-proclaimed lazy trader, Rob Colville. Well, Rob, how is uncertainty impacting traders? In January, traditionally we see a fall of equities and uh, we see more of a return to risk off. However, at the moment, we're seeing a pullback in the markets and people are just waiting to see what's going to happen next in terms of economic releases. Investors or markets love certainty. When the bull climbs the stairs, that's when there's certainty traditionally. But when the book bear falls out the window, we can tr typically say there's uncertainty. And at the moment, we can say that the FTSE is falling. News from China hasn't helped that. But for traders, we love volatility. Uncertainty brings volatility and enables us to get into positions. And if we're at the right side of the, the market, it enables us to determine the outcome pretty quickly. Well, as you said, people have pulled back from markets. And I don't really understand exactly why that is, because I know we've had a lot of issues, the China slowdown, oil prices are down, that sort of thing. But these are things that have been happening for a while, so they're not exactly new. So why now? Why are markets going down now? Essentially, that's the governing sentiment. And people are looking to essentially make money going short. Investors are getting jittery. We saw the all-time half of the FTSE um, last April. And of course, anyone who's going to be buying the FTSE, certainly last year, will be at the top of the market, which is not a very good place to buy. And uh, fear essentially spreads. It's a great motivator. People panic. Well, let's move on to the Forex market now. And sure. how is that being impacted by uncertainty? Well, we're seeing a further growth in the dollar. It's traditionally a safe haven. Well, we're seeing a decline in the British pound. A euro traditionally has been bullish this time of year, just after Christmas, January, February. Um, but I think all in all, if equities are going to fall, we're going to see a decline in um, currencies uh, linked to risk on, like, for example, the British pound, Aussie dollar, um, Kiwi dollar and so forth. The Canadian dollar is um, losing ground in a rather dramatic way against the US dollar. That's because of oil prices, which are collapsing, as we know. Um, but I think we're just generally seeing a return to risk off. This is certainly a very popular way to invest the Forex market. What sort of tools do you think are the most efficient way to do this? Having access to uh, current prices in terms of charts, uh, us technical traders, we trade according to what we see, not what we think. So we're looking at the chart for clues. So I'm always looking at current data and past data. As I trade in the higher time frames, I'm looking for the past five years to identify clear buy and sell levels, opportunities to buy a dip in an upward trend or to sell a rally in a downward trend. And I'll be doing that certainly with the British pound looking to sell um, a rally in a downward trend. Well, I think the big story for the Forex market has been the renminbi that's now part of the IMF's currency basket. Do you think it will have much of an impact? China, they're looking to have, well, circumvent the US dollar in terms of imposing the renminbi as being the currency of choice with their trading partners. Potentially see a bit of competition with that against the US dollar. But as far as the renminbi is concerned, I think it's a little bit too early to say. Well, when I speak to a lot of people about the Forex market, they always say you'll never make your fortune trading Forex. What do you make of this? A lot of people who trade financial markets fail, unfortunately. I think it's a staggering statistic, like 92% of people, because they don't bother to implement a strategy. Um, they don't bother to learn what's involved and they've got a tiny account. You can make a lot of money with Forex trading, providing you have a big account, you're consistently profitable and you're well-funded and you know what you're doing. But frankly, a lot of people see Forex trading as a get-rich-quick scheme.